So I, so how do I reconcile objectivism with democracy? Um, I don't. Um, I'm against democracy. If democracy is understood as majority rule, that is, I'm against the Athenian style of democracy where they don't like what Socrates has said. So they all get together in the arena and they vote to execute. And of course, Socrates takes the poison because he believes in democracy too, and the people have spoken. Uh, and Plato's sophisticated escape plan goes to waste. Um, so I, I'm against majority rule, and I think this is why defining the role of government is so crucial. If we define the role of government as protecting individual rights, then no majority should ever be allowed to violate somebody's rights. The fact that 51% of the people want me silenced gives them no right to actually do it. Um, the fact that 51% of my neighbors want uh, me to keep the trees and I want to chop them down gives them no right to do it. Of course, in the US today, and I'm sure in many other countries, they can. My neighbors can decide what kind of house, what it, whether I build onto my house, whether I chop down a tree or not. All of that is decided democratically in the United States. America has moved towards democracy. The whole idea of a right to property is an anti-democratic notion. It says that 51% of the people can't vote my property away from me. Eminent domain, right, which is democracy is applied to property rights. Uh, freedom of speech says 51% can't silence me. 99% of the people can't silence me. That's so, I, I'm a strong believer in, in constitutional republic, uh, you know, in the, in the context and framework like the founding fathers of the US established it, where they are individual rights, nobody can take them away from you, no majority, no democracy. The things people could vote on are very limited. They can vote on their representatives, and their representatives can do very few things. You know, things like a clearer definition of what property rights actually mean. Property rights are an evolving concept. The new challenges to property rights continuously. We need a legislature to continuously define and look at how do you define property rights over the internet? How do you define property rights over minerals? Uh, you know, they, they, they went a long way in the 19th century, for example, with property rights, and then at some point in the, in the late 19th century, all new thinking about property rights basically stopped. And, and today we don't have property rights. Today it's just whatever the community wants. So um, I think we need to get away from democracy and, and towards protection of individual rights, and away from majority rule, and towards people voting on very narrow things, only things that are not violations of other people's rights.